The process is that I go into the streets, whether it be in Harlem, whether it be in Brooklyn, uh, South Central Los Angeles, and find models. Now, finding models is not as easy as it sounds. There is a type of dance or seduction that takes place. You have to show examples of the work. You have to really speak about the project and allow for people to imagine themselves in it. Once the models are here, I have them go through a collection of art history books. And when they're looking through these art history books, they're told that they should choose their favorite paintings. And ultimately, I make that painting of the person. So it really has to do with what the model wants, what my taste is in terms of the books that are on the table. And it's this back and forth between the artist who sets up the scenario and the sitter who wants to see themselves in a certain way. It's astonishing, I love it. Love it, absolutely. I love how he had the old with the new. Still make it look hip hop, but it's still classical and elegant at the same time. He looks for the spirit. He looks on the inside what attracts him. You understand what I'm saying? So each individual carries a different spirit. So with, with that, he pulls that out as he paints the painting. And he blends that all in with the background to make it represent who this person actually is. And it's awesome. I'm very grateful and honored, definitely. There's a number of sources that I use in the work and part of it is religious iconography and religious painting but then the other part has to do with society portraits and in those paintings it's more about landed gentry sort of very powerful rich white men on their land uh, sort of looking confident and strident uh, there's a language of power that's in those paintings and, um, ultimately what I'm trying to do is to craft a language that investigates that type of power and the vocabulary that I speak in is one that, the, that is very contemporary. Um, the vocabulary that I speak in is one of falsehoods and one of a type of blackness that is defined by antisocial behavior, hypersexuality, and a propensity towards sports. I feel like there's, that I don't often see a lot of artwork um, with young black males sometimes I feel like I'm in a world with a lot of people who make artwork that isn't very diverse, so this is kind of wonderful. I mean, I don't know, like, it's a weird mix, you know? And then these poses that they have, you know, like, unnatural poses, like, uh, like, very feminine. And see this guy, like, big, tough, with big clothes, you know? It's, it's a weird mix that I really like. I think it just shows people in different lights. Like you look at the face of a person, and you're like, okay, they're, you know, they're thugs, they're gangsters, you know, your stereotype, basically. And you come in, and you look at the full picture, you kind of like, hmm, there's something different about this. There's, there's more to these, not just painting, but to the people, you know. He really found a space, you know, to voice some issues in painting that that. Not only have few artists been able to find, but I think few artists of color have been able to find such a dynamic space to make paintings around. Oftentimes when I go to the great museums throughout the world, most of the pictures on the wall don't happen to look like me. And in my pictures I'm trying to sort of correct for a bit of that. My job as an artist is not to paint the world as a type of utopia. I think what I do is I respond to the world that I'm given.